as you can see now we go test greater for the black ones and the purple one we don't have a test already for them what you now need to do is to create this step for the purple one there are different ways to do that we're going to try to see if we can use the old step that we've done which is by right clicking and cl clicking on generate step definition so if you do that you see we got only one step that is pending we've created step for the other one already we if you say generate it's going to ask you where you want to generate that step definition so if you navigate to where our step definition is which is at this point and this is the name we want to call this step definition as i have said earlier but because this particular step definition that we are creating has got only one step and if we try to save it it's going to override the other step that we've created that's why i would not advise you to use this uh, step i will you don't you don't need to use this method to create your step definition at this particular time i mean when you are adding more steps to a particular step definition that you've created you could say click on one and then save it then that should be fine but this is not the right step i would propose i'm just showing this to you so because of that i'm going to cancel this part but the best way to do in that this is after you've created one other step definition and you want to now add other step definition to already create a step definition for instance we got this step definition already created and but we still have some pending step like this one that we want to add to this step definition what you need to do is right click and say, try to say go to step definition when you click on that it's going to display this pop-up to you saying there's no matching step definition found for this step do you want to copy this step binding skeleton to your clipboard and you should say yes so if you say yes then it's going to copy what you have from the when uh, to with everything this skeleton into your clipper and you can now paste it in your step definition so let's do that we click on yes then because we know where we want to put it we go into that so at the top of your class we have your public class so then you have the curly braces i'll create a step um, some spaces there then after that uh, we paste what i've just copied in my clipper that is the step so this is the step then we now have our step definition for this linked into where it should be then you can see it still remain purple why because we've not actually saved our step definition so if you have not saved our step definition you will see any step that you've not saved, any file that you've not saved in visual studio we have that asterisk at the top of it so if i now save this step now you can see it's now turned to black and there's no asterisk on any part here i can now go to that step definition and that is now bound to our step that we've created in our feature file that is your steps created now so we have that created 